Hello church, if you go to church every Sunday, that's awesome. Make sure that they're reading about uh, scriptures and the apostles from the Bible and the life of Jesus and how that applies today. Going to church is awesome, but also going in a small group, some call it a Bible study, some call it a, a weekly meeting, whatever they call it, get into a small group because it's where you can open up to people your age, live in your community, and you can talk about real life issues and just giving people updates of what's going on, what to pray for, how can I pray for you? That's called community. It's not about just going to the pews for 90 minutes once a week. It's about community and engaging with your community. And at the same time, church, pray about how uh, you could definitely put aside someone on payroll who's a professional Christian psychologist. Because if I am in a small group, I can still hide anything I want from the eight people that I gather once a week in. And I want you to know that some things you can't pray away and so remind your congregation, church, that you have free Christian counseling and not just, oh, here's a verse, we're going to pray for you, but talk about it. Have a couple multiple sessions of, of a psychologist, uh, someone who's trained to talk things through. Uh, that's how some chains also break. So whether it's going to church, which is awesome, going to a small group or even finding a Christian counselor, those three things I really encourage you to do and keep on getting plugged in, where you connect the vertical, you and, you and God, to then horizontal, everyone else. Love God and love your neighbor as yourself and see the blessing in it.